I don't know what it is about tarpon fishing, but they have a vendetta against me. I've caught some 40 pounders, I've caught some small tarpon, but for me, it's always been that one fish that for some reason is, is that challenge for me. And nice. a big fish that's over 80 pounds is just something that I haven't achieved Good. as of yet. Good way to start it? Absolutely. With it being so calm, you know, the fish are just so spooky and they're just so aware of everything. And right, right off the bat, right off the bat. Move it, move it, move it. Oh! <sighs> you know, with every shot that she was making great and getting the fish's attention, and it just would last second stall, check it out, and then fade away. And it was like, oh my God, you know, is this gonna happen? Like in our mind, it's like, is this gonna happen? To us? As soon as that little bit of ripple came on, I felt it. He's got it. Let him go, let him go. Woo! Go! That's a big one. Now is about time. There he is. Woo! Get ready, might be one more. Get ready, girl. That's awesome, huh? <laughs> there we go. Woo! Going, going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty. Nasty, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. He's got a trip. Oh, Woo! my God. That's awesome. Got him, baby. Nice. Yep. Easy. Yep. Oh, nice, baby! Woo! Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the way over here. Yep, yep. Go. Nice. Woo! Jumper. See ya. Woo! <laughs> Got him. Got him, buddy. We'll just see where this goes. Yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> what about the maple syrup? Yeah. I got a call from Red, uh, G. Loomis, and uh, Red's just an awesome guy, man. He just, they're gonna throw it out there, but I have this friend uh, and a, another Loomis pro staff, Paula, that I actually recommend you might wanna, you might wanna get her on the show. Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Maple syrup. Some poutine. Noticed and saw that she's from Canada. It's fries, gravy, and uh, yes. cheese curds. Yeah. Actually um, lives, you know, very close to where my dad was born. Good old uh, Canadian Caesar. And a Canadian Caesar. That right there, that's a that's That's, a, that's a meal. Immediately had like some connection, you know, like Canadian bond, you know, as you would say there. You know, when you're younger, grind it out. the energy to do it. Right? Just talking with her, you realize she understands this sport. She's a very fishy person, and she's just an incredible guide out there. And Mealy, we hit it off as uh, as friends, but uh, fishing wise, um, we're gonna we're gonna be j just fine as long as I can provide some stuff. But look at this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty today. Very pretty. I brought down a Canadian staple, good old maple syrup. Cheers. That's good. That's, Woo! Like, that's some sugar. One of, that's one of our main uh, food groups. Holy sugar. It goes on like pancakes. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you what, that just goes straight to the head. All right, that's it. All right, we're off. We got, I got the sugar in all me, man. It's good. You ready? I started fly fishing from a really young age. Personally, for me, fly fishing has kind of always been there. Um, from the age of eight, I was on the lakes fishing for trout. And then later into my teens, I was kind of exploring river systems where that's kind of where I found my personal niche. Did you ever think you're gonna guide? No, at the time I was, I was a really competitive athlete for like multiple sports. So I was always pursuing those avenues and be honest I didn't even know there was a choice like I didn't know that guiding was an actual like career choice that you could take and it wasn't until later on my like later teens that I found some friends that that were guides and and realized that this is this is something that I could personally do and I would love to do see him there along the shoreline going left do I start casting oh there yep, get out okay. to the left one, okay yeah left and drop a little further try that tick 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 Bump, bump, here he comes. Bump. Good job. Good job. Nice. <laughs> Woo! And he's gone. Just like that. Oh, we got some big ones coming waking behind us. Watch up there, like 132. Are they moving away or out of? They're moving this way. Start casting. I see their bodies. Keep going, you gotta go way up there. A little bit right too, right? 
Tick, tick. Tick, tick. Tick slow. Bump, bump. Bump. Get him, Fred. Get him. Get him. Nice. Nice. Keep there tight. we go. Keep tight. Now lift up. Get that thing jumping. That's the best part of those little guys, is them coming up and jumping. Come on. There it is. Another one's falling right behind them saying, hey, you guys got any more of that? Cool. There we go. Cool. Stepping stones, girl. Stepping stones. Work our way up. You got to be able to crawl before you can walk and then walk before you can run. So we're going to climb up the ladder today, I feel it. <laughs> Pull straight up. There it is. <laughs> One more. Come on. <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. There we go. There it is. Beautiful, girl. Good way to start it. Absolutely. All right, gorgeous. Little one. The thing is when you hold them right here, there's a pressure point on the tarpon. All right. Nice, way to start it thank off. you. Maybe we'll try one or two more, and I think uh, the light's getting up where we can start to hopefully sight fish some uh, teenagers some and bigger teenagers? ones. Teenagers and bigger ones. Round two. Round two, baby. This is nine innings. At least there's some on the shoreline a little bit. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. Fish the legend. Hello, I am Chico, Chico Fernandez. One day, out of the blue, I got a call from Tom Davidson. Hello. He said, I'm looking for a group of like-minded individuals, conservationists, to start an organization that is going to go deeply into conservation. Once the fishing guys understood that what BTT was doing was really good for them too, once they realized that we were there to improve the fishing, to improve what I lovingly call the fish's neighborhood, Tom had them. They were all behind him, as we all were. More and more of this fish pressure these days. It's not going to stop. It's going to get worse. If you are an angler today, you have to join not one, but several organizations that are there to help the environment. BTT is the quintessential organization. You gotta join it. To learn more, visit BTT.org. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats. Fish, the legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Costa, see what's out there. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. And now, 60 seconds in the mill house. Betsy, I'm so glad you came up and willing to come on to this podcast and talk about your heart and your passion for fishing. You've had an enormously big life. Thank you for having me. First time sight fishing in the Keys, I was done. I was done. I, 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 I sold the place in Virginia and ended up moving to Melbourne Beach because it was almost to the Keys, but my son just started college at Flagler in St. Augustine, and I didn't want to be that far away from it. Right. So it was kind of a pit stop, but it was closer to the Keys. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, the sight fishing on a flat, I, I totally, my brain fell out of my head. 
to watch this and other full-length episodes of the Millhouse podcast, go to YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. Paul, let's get our karma right. Let's go get these balloons. They're just, it's sad to see all these things everywhere. Watch, a balloon equals a tarpon. Well, I'll collect balloons all day then. <laughs> you know, when you grab them, I still, like a little kid, will take some of the helium and just have some fun with it. Kind of amazes me that people don't realize they're just letting garbage go. I know it. Like it's, they just... it's no different than like just tossing a plastic water bottle. Let's pop it. Oh, it smells like. It probably yeah. smells rotten, huh? It smells rotten. Oh yeah. But come on, use those rowing muscles. I would be popping and, and then inhaling that, but that's just me. Pick up your garbage. Don't, don't let release, it go in the sky. Don't release balloons. I'll just right there. See that white hole tight to the uh, shoreline there? Sarcastic. Go up at like 10, 30, 11. That's plenty up in there. There you go, try that. Bump it, bump. Oh my God, what a bite. Woo! What a bite, what a shot, girl. Boosh! There we Sweet. go. Sweet. Man, what a bite though on those gurglers, right? I was like, catch one, next cast. Yeah, why Right not? in front of the boat, let's just. Woo! Sweet. What a bite. Kabombo. First cast. Enjoy the show. I like it. Anglers, at the end of the day, we just like catching fish. Oh yeah. Sure, we like chasing the big ones, but we all started with small fish before we got to big fish. Oh, nice. Right? Then you're like, this is, that's awesome. You know, they're pumped. So this is- Are you leader in or keep leader out? Oh, uh, you can reel all the way in, yeah. Okay. This is just par to the course right here in my mind. Perfect size fish on a gurgler, on an eight weight. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay. Come here. Come on. Great size fish here. Beautiful girl. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's the pros and cons about being you know a guide in the <laughs> flats boat is. You're the one that gets the face wash. Yeah, I, I have, for how hot it is, I'm not complaining right now. All right, let's do a little pressure point. You ready? Boom. See ya. Incredible. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> that's pretty. It's all about the water. And healthy habitats. And effective management. Conserving our flats fisheries takes all three. That's why BTT is working on all of them. If we do less, we'll lose. And so will the next generation. You can help us achieve the Grand Slam of conservation by supporting Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Become a member today at BTT.org. And join us as we bring science to the fight. To learn more, visit BTT.org. When you make the kind of investment I have in boats, from my skiff to my contender, choosing the right trailer is everything. And I choose Ameritrail. They're built tough, man. You know, not only are they stylish and look good, and they have all these features, everything about it is done right. And it makes me feel comfortable trailing my boat down the highway. Ameritrail trailers. Load, launch, relax. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. Woo! Simred Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Ameritrail Trailers. Load, launch, relax. And by Pathfinder Boats. Angler Driven.
My influences in the fishing world would probably be my dad and uncles. They did a fair bit of fishing, mostly on the lakes, and then I kind of took that bit of fishing and I've kind of grown it to what I have been able to do today. Living in Alberta is, is kind of a really awesome place to live. Personally, I love the scenery, I love the mountains, I love the Rockies, I love the like woods and nature and everything that we have to offer. Our main fishery is trout, and that's kind of what I specialize in. Rainbow trout and brown trout in the Bow River, and then cutthroats and bull trout in the mountain streams. Success as a guide for me is what my clients can take out of the day. I learned early on that the clients don't care so much about the fishing and how many fish they catch as we think they do. Um, they really do just want to have an experience. They want, they want to build on a memory. They want to create something that they're going to remember, whether it's Yes, those days of catching a ton of fish, or whether it's just kind of trying to create that memory of one really big, epic fish that they're gonna remember for a lifetime. The mission of having her come fish with me was to get her a size large tarpon on fly. That was a mission. Good shot. Freaking laser. Little man. ones in the morning was a good, like, kind of just you know, knock the dust off and get all smooth and get her and I, you know, on the same page. And then when we started to change gears and go into the look for big ones, there wasn't a ripple on the water. Start casting. It, 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 it was cold. an aquarium. Go to the left of them, but not really far past them. Good, good. Barely, slow, nice and easy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He's coming, easy, easy. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Faster, faster, faster. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a good slider. My favorite part is he didn't even know we're here. Just low right and just drop it. Just drop, just drop, just drop. It just, you know, with it being so calm, you know, the fish are just so spooky and they're just so aware of everything. Oh, that was close. Beautiful to see, but tough. See him now? Tough, tough, tough. I start casting. Next one, drop, yeah. low right, low yeah. right, right, drop it. Stop, stop, stop. Move it, move it, move it, move it slowly. Easy, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, what a big fish. Look at the size of that thing. We stuck it out, you know, we're grinding, we're getting them to come put, they're putting it right here, they're putting it on their nose, they're left and drop further. She's fishing so, so good. Keep going, keep moving my faster, speed it up. Oh, God. Keep going, keep going, keep moving it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, God, that was close. I swear that one was gonna eat it. I swear <laughs> that was gonna eat it. Oh, it was like kind of coming into the bottom of the night of the day, you know, we've been grinding it around and shot after shot and all right another one i got another one up to your left okay he's swimming go ahead get out of front of him next right good move it 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 girl move it move it move it move it and it was like oh my god you know is this gonna happen like in our mind it's like is this gonna happen for us you know and as soon as that little bit of ripple came on move it move it move it move it move it move it go got him. let him go girl oh i felt it you know as fishermen as a guide and any any guide anywhere you just have that internal feeling, like an instinct, something that you feel. Easy, easy, go, strip, let him go, let him go. Woo! Woo! Oh my God, <laughs> that was a bow time. That bite was silly good, huh? All right, hey, just anticipate he's still going, okay? Make sure you level wind that on. I mean, it's, it's a good one. Here you go. Here, call it in. Get it, girl. Got him. Double. I insist on having a clean boat when I fish. It helps protect my tackle, helps protect everything about that boat. So when I choose a cleaner degreaser, there's only one choice. Formula 88. Cut! Ah! Oh, Fabulous! Just take it down a notch there, cowboy. 
Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats. Fish the legend. Woo! Get ready, might be one more. Get ready. Make a reel. Built to last, Not built to up. stop. There we go. Woo! And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. That's what it's all about, That's kid. what it's all about. Come on, step up. Where your grades at? Where your grades at? Oh, A oh. plus. Oh. A plus. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Bonefish and Tarpon Trust is leading an effort in the Bahamas to restore mangroves on Grand Bahama and Abaco. Hurricane Dorian caused widespread damage and destruction across the region, leaving flats habitats vulnerable to erosion and exposing the communities of our fishing guides and friends to future storms. Working with local fishing guides, partners, and volunteers, BTT has planted thousands of mangroves to date and will reach our goal of 100,000 seedlings later this year. Ultimate success in the project will require restoration at scale. BTT partnered last year with Waterkeepers Bahamas and the Perry Institute for Marine Science to establish the Bahamas Mangrove Alliance. Our new coalition is committed to planting 1 million trees by the end of 2025. The Bahamas Mangrove Alliance plans to start tackling other areas that are in need of restoration. These include sites where mangroves have been impacted by development. We'll also be engaging the Bahamas government to pursue new policy measures aimed at preventing loss and conserving mangroves nationally. Go to btt.org to learn how you can support our work and restore vital mangrove habitat in the Bahamas. To learn more, visit btt.org. Oh my God, with so many close follows and everything that happened so far today. That right there is staying with it, girl. That's staying with it. There he is. Woo! God, that's sweet. Awesome job. Awesome job. Yee! Come on, tell me how you're feeling. You're just oh. all quiet up there. This is your oh, first. Oh, I'm stoked. Right? This is your first real big one, isn't it? It's my first really big one if we land if it. If we land it. Well, enjoy it. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If not, it's been incredible so far. Oh boy. I saw a little head shake there. Keep pulling. Right down to the right. There you go. There we go. Keep pulling. He's coming up tight there. He's got us all along these tree lines. Pull, 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 and then try to pump it. Reel down. Nice. I think tighten up a little more with your drag. Keep hold. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Pull, pull, pull. It's a good fish. 80, 90 pounds. Doing great. It's just like a trout. Just like a trout. Just one that breathes oxygen. Yep. And it's about 80 pounds heavy. A little different from the ones uh, earlier in the morning, huh? Woo! Get ready. Might be one more. Get ready, girl. That's awesome, huh? <laughs> there we go. Woo! That was the best she was going to give us That's yet. That's it. <sighs> that was sweet, huh? That was epic. Look how pretty that is in that water, That's a huh? stunning fish. Oh, get it, girl. Get it. You want to keep that line just right down her back. Literally, right down her back. A little left. Left. There you go. Beautiful. Pull right. There you go. Right there. That's putting the pressure on her. Nice and easy when you're pulling now. See how you're holding the handle a lot, so if it goes a surge. There you go. Keep going, girl. There you go. Keep pulling. Pull right. It's the most pressure you can put on her. There you go. Keep going. A little left. A little left. And just remember not to hold that handle. Because this is where a lot of people lose the fish because they've been fighting for a long time and they kind of forget and all of a sudden it does one last surge and bye-bye. Yep, pull, 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 pull as hard as you can. Give it to it. There you go. Use them rowing muscles right there. You're saying the tricep. Show it off. Show it off. Okay, now to go again. Pump, pump, pump. Pull, pull, pull. Okay, pull, pull, pull. There you go. Oh yeah. Feeling the burn. Look at the shakes. Look at the shakes. Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> Look at the shakes. You got it. Feeling it. Win this round on it. Win this round. Keep going. If you have an experience of fighting a large tarpon, you, you don't know what to expect. You're in for a battle. You know, you got to understand that fish. You got to be able to read that fish. Oh, there you go. A little left now. <gasps> nice. It's like boxing. You're going round for round with this fish. There you go. She's on the surface. A little left, just a little bit. It's a mental game as much as it is physical. Pull, 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 pull. Reel down, reel down, girl. Especially an adult-sized tarpon. And then stay where you were. There you go, right there. Yep. Pull, 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 pull. They, they, they fight till the end. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Keep going, fish. No! No! <laughs> oh. All right, girl. I'm asking you, please, now. <laughs> No, don't give up now. Keep pulling. Woo! Just when you thought she was tired, huh? Almost there. Come on, girl, you got it. I believe in you. 
Pull, 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 pull. Oh, you roll that down. You're almost there. Pull hard. Roll that down. Roll that down. One more pull. Pull hard. Right where you are. Pull hard. There you go. That's it. That's it. Reel it down. All right, hold it, hold it. Back to the right, back to the right. Back to the right, now pull. Oh! No! There's not much you can do. Oh. <laughs> With the pull of the Cedri at the end, he wore through it. I knew he was, it was a, there was a matter of time. Mm. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. I saw so good. good. Hey, way to go. Way to go. You fought it like a champ. Oh, no. <laughs> that was incredible, girl. Wait, I really, oh from start to finish, really enjoyed every second of it with you. Flex up. Let's see them. Let's see those triceps. Yeah!